Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and today I'm here to do a commentary video, this time on the Linkin Park interview from 2001. This is part one of the video, so this commentary video slash reaction video, whatever you want to call it, will be split into two parts. So part two will be coming up soon. So anyways, without further ado, I'll start the video and give my reaction to it. <laughs> this is a pretty funny interview because they're all funny things to say. This is the answer for long drive. If you're wondering what that was, that was the intro to the video before it starts. Do not ad okay. Do not address any questions to Johan, as Brad Delson would say. <laughs> 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 Poor Joe, he's just staring, he's just standing there. He's just like, okay. what do they say? <laughs> so, like, yeah, Lincoln Park, a place where you hang around? It's a place in Santa Monica in Los Angeles. It's named after the American president, Abraham Lincoln. We spelled it differently so that we could get the web domain name for a far cheaper price. Uh -huh. <laughs> far cheaper price. Far fewer Deutschmark. And the thing is... That's interesting about Lincoln Park. I actually didn't know that till now, but that's pretty interesting. It's As everywhere in every town there is this Lincoln Park, so it's like being the town's the yeah, Actually, ironically, like the cool thing is, is like when we when we show up, like when we toured the states, mm -hmm. um, everywhere we went, we were like locals. Like yeah. all the kids would come up and be like, "Hey, dude, we live in Lincoln Park too, man. Where you? Where, which street did you grow up on?" <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we live in Lincoln Park too. Which street you grew up on? Ah, that is so funny. <laughs> God, that is just too funny. That interview. <laughs> the joke, the joke was that we could never be like a professional band because we were always a local band. And in fact, really? We really play our instruments. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially Brad. Okay. Especially me. Lincoln Park, das ist ein Park in LA, wo sie mal abgehangen sind und Lincoln Park gibt's auch überall und das ist auch ganz cool, weil I love how they're smiling every time the interviewer just speaks German because fun fact, they're actually in Hamburg when this interview happens. They're touring Germany. Sie kommen mein die jungen Leute dort immer wieder, das ist eine regionale Band, aber nein, Lincoln Park ist international. So, what was before? <laughs> Look at that, Brad and Joe are just touching her toe. <laughs> Really? Oh, finally, we heard Johan say a word. Uh, finally, he hasn't really said much in this interview. Same with um, Rob Borden. It's mostly been Chester Bennington, Dave Farrell, a.k.a. Phoenix, Mike Shinoda, and Brad Delson talking. Uh, that's too funny. That's because I'm very secure with my sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, very secu I'm very secure with my sexuality. Good one, Brad. <laughs> oh, look, he just hi look at this. He hides his jewelry. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Brad is hyper between a man and a woman. Nice. <laughs> and I love how Brad Delson just hit his jewelry. That's just too funny. <laughs> no, but some of you guys met in school. Some of yeah, you we, we actually, we, we, we all pretty much met in school, um, except for Chester. He's the outcast. He yeah, I, I dropped out of school. For someone who dropped out of school like Chester, he's actually pretty smart. Um, Brad and I had known each other since uh, we were about 13. Joe and I met in college. Brad and Phoenix met in college. Mm -hmm. And Rob and Brad and I went to high school in the same area. Okay. And Chester. And they found me in a desert 600 miles away. <laughs> <laughs> really? They found Chester in a desert 600 miles away. <laughs> Another funny quote of the interview. Something you were looking for a singer and then you were there. We said we were looking for a singer and uh, they'd been auditioning singers for like. 
four, four, almost four months in L.A., mm-hmm. and um, and every vocalist in L.A. did not pass the test, so they had to seek, <laughs> seek, seek elsewhere. Mm-hmm. And um, we had a, a mutual friend, uh, Scott Harrington, who who um, called me up and said, you know, I have a band, you should really mm-hmm. just check it out, and I'll send you a demo, and he did. And um, within a matter of days, I had cut my version of the demo and sent it in, and I was in L.A., and I've been they kept me there ever since, chained. <laughs> well, they kept him chained in L.A. until his death in 2017. That's how it was. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. You will be missed. You, you're still missed. Cool. Studio. So, so here we are. Also, wie sie zusammenkommen sind, die meisten hier kennen sich ja schon aus der Schule. Und Chester ist dazu gekommen, wie sie nach einem äh, Sänger Ausschau gehalten haben. Wir haben eben einen gemeinsamen Freund. Und er kommt aus Arizona. Die anderen kommen alle aus L.A. Und jetzt gibt's erstmal was von Linkin Park zu hören für euch. Jo. <laughs> okay, oh, Chester's laughing already in between the cuts in the interview. That's that's a nice cut. The Hamburger Hafen, and I sit here with the hand. So I got two ways I can wear my hat. And really? I Do you, Brad? Do you? I, want, I know we can't get immediate feedback, mm-hmm. but maybe people who go to our website, LincolnPark.com, mm-hmm. and tell us there's this way where you don't see my eyebrows, mm-hmm. and then there's this way. Wow. Well, now we see your eyebrows, that's Brad. That's we do. <laughs> Chester is laughing, it's too funny. Oh my god. They're all laughing. Tell everybody that we think that Brad's on drugs. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, Brad Delson's on drugs, everybody. Let's talk about this record. Um, it's a hybrid between it's hybrid theory. Um, that's rock and for those who don't know, hybrid theory was the first album Linkin Park released, and this interview was actually done one year after it was released in 2000. Electronic thing. Is it like everybody of you get this hybrid taste in music, or are there any masters of rock, any masters of rap, or how does it work? I think we all we all like a lot of different things. Um, we may have one a little more practice in one thing than others, mm-hmm. but uh, we definitely are being distracted by our DJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? <laughs> There's co- there are bands that like and musical musical taste that we all have in common, mm-hmm. but then each of us kind of brings to the table something different that mm-hmm. that he listened to growing up and has like shared that with the rest of mm-hmm. the group. And what's the unique thing where you all fit together like bands you all like? Uh, what bands do we like in common? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I think one of our, e- for each of us, one of our favorite bands is uh, the Deftones. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they asked us to tour with them uh, in March here in Europe is like, I still don't believe it. Like, I won't believe it mm-hmm. until we play our first show. Um, and then other bands uh, that we think are great are Incubus, Papa Roach, we also toured with. Mm-hmm. Um, and. We're taking out two groups actually on our headlining tour in the United States. One's called Taproot, mm-hmm. and uh, one is called Styles of Beyond. Mm-hmm. They're uh, more of an underground rap group from Los Angeles. Also, sie machen ja mehr so den hybriden Sound. Das heißt, sie mischen Rap und Rock und dann auch elektronische Elemente. Es ist so, dass sie alle irgendwie den gleichen Musikgeschmack haben. Also Bands, die sie irgendwie alle verehren, ist zum Beispiel Papa Roach und Deftones. Mit den Deftones werden sie jetzt auch im Februar auf Tour sein. So, um, the cover art is really, really interesting and I think it's one of the best covers I really saw. Really. Thank you. I got a tattooed on my leg. Really? Really, a tattoo. You want to see the tattoo? Yeah. Oh. Look at my skinny chicken legs. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> Look at my skinny okay. chicken legs. <laughs> Chester has a cool tattoo of hybrid theory. The, the, the thing about the thing about the cover um, that we wanted to do is that obviously a lot of people are familiar with a musical hybrid. Um, we wanted something that was more us, mm-hmm. that was more personal, and so we we you know uh, being that we mix heavier sounds and more sensitive elements in our music, we wanted to do something with the soldier. Being the heavier thing and the dragonfly wings being more delicate. And Mike drew yeah. this. It's also like the sound cool. of your music, like um, the voice is sometimes so. That's cool, so Mike so drew that part. That's cool. The butterfly thing in it's all of it. Right. So, 
So, die Cover Art. Sie haben sich ja folgendes ausgedacht, die Musik diese zum Teil doch sehr, sehr weich und sehr etwas versiert eben die Stimme auch, die eben sehr sanft auch oft ist, um halt diese Flügel und der Soldat, der, der spiegelt halt dann mehr so die Rock-Elemente so voll auf die Fresse, weil das ist nämlich auch bei Linkin Park zu hören. Und für euch gibt es jetzt erstmal Musik. Wir sehen uns danach hier in Hamburg mit Linkin Park. And we got another cut scene right here. We got another cut in between the interview. Back to Going back to the interview people, there's just cut scenes in between. Pretty cool. Thank you. Situation or and we you avoided any violence. Uh, and we also uh, un unconsciously uh, didn't use any vulgarity on our record. And I think that those are things that kind of um, really step out, especially lyrically, because um, kids can uh, appreciate, they, they seem to appreciate our honesty in our lyrics rather than um, just kind of coming up with something to try to sound tough or mm, sound like yeah. you know what you're talking about. So. Yeah. Also wir leben ja zur Zeit gerade im Nuki Land. Das heißt, es gibt ganz viele Bands wie 28 Days, Limp Bizkit und POD, wie sie dann alle heißen. Sie sehen ihren Unterschied darin, dass sie nicht unbedingt mit politischen Meinungen um sich schleudern müssen, um irgendwelche Leute an sich zu ziehen. Nein, sie versuchen halt mehr so von, von, vom Leben selbst zu erzählen. Und Linkin Park, also Chester hat ja auch eine hervorragende Stimme, die im Vergleich zu den anderen dann doch mehr auf Melodie Wert gelegt wird. So, um, do you think at present it's easier to do um, a crossover thing? Like that the people are open-minded for it, or is it more difficult because there are so many crossover bands out there? Um, I think it's difficult to find good crossover bands. Um, I think that yeah, the that's that's that's, that's a true fact. Uh, it was really difficult for Linkin Park because I mean, um, it's not a very simple task. It takes a lot. We we it's worked never very, a simple very task for Linkin Park or any band. At making sure that our parts flow well together, that there isn't just a uh, hip hop part and then the rock part mm -hmm. and then yeah. the electronica interlude you know yeah. we really wanted everything to be fluent and um that's not something that's easy and you can't just spend a couple hours a day mm. a couple times a week doing that it really took a lot of our time and energy and i think that um the more that the more music and the more bands that uh that people are exposed to that do cross over we're going to see a surge of, 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 of that even more so in the future. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, wo sie auch ihren Unterschied sehen, ist das, dass sie mit ihrer Musik halt jetzt nicht unbedingt, dass man, wenn man jetzt ein Lied hört, aha, jetzt kommt also der Rap-Part und jetzt kommt der Rock-Part, sie versuchen das alles irgendwie schön, dass das ähm, schön in sich reingeht und schöne Übergänge sind und... I like how they're just all zoning out of this part, because some of the members have their eyes closed and that's just really interesting. Ähm, um, die... Die Plattenindustrie, die bringt zurzeit ganz, ganz viele verschiedene solcher Bands raus. Also sie glauben eben durch das, dass sie anders sind in ihrer Musik. Und wird sich da auch einiges für sie tun. Und jetzt gibt es erstmal Crossover von euch, für euch, Papa Roach mit Broken Home. So, meine Lieben, hier geht's noch. Another Papa break in the interview, Park, as you in Hamburg im Hintergrund der wunderbare Hafen. So, Chester, I once heard that you said in an interview that um, since you were talking, you were telling the people that you want to become a um, singer. Yes. And that's really nice, and I think that sounds very optimistic, and that's a bit of American philosophy that... It's actually true. Um, Chester actually grew up singing. They, um, you know, they've got this go for it thing. And um, do you think that sometimes people have their um, worst enemies in themselves, like giving themselves borderline? Absolutely. I think, um, I think one of the big biggest weaknesses of being a person, um, just in, in general, as a, as a human being, is... Uh, the feeling that, um, you know, we're all a little bit in insignificant in the large picture of things, and mm -hmm. which is completely untrue. Uh, that every person can be as powerful and, and uh, as they want to be or as weak as they want to be. It's just, you know, the drive um, isn't in everybody, and I think everyone can accomplish anything they want to do in their lives. Do you yeah. think everyone's talented in their own ways? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think... I think um, That's true, everybody is talented in their own ways. It's just a, it's just a way of finding it and having the support to, 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 to you know, get that talent out and, mm. and, and push you. Because sometimes, I mean, even, even though I've been determined to do this my entire life, there have been times where I needed my friends or my family and my loved ones to kind of keep pushing me on, saying, keep mm. doing it, you know. So um, through all of those things combined, I think 
Well, Sledgehammer, well, Sledgehammer, Bennington. Anybody can accomplish anything. No, no, no. I believe, because he had damals schon als kleiner Junge gesagt, bevor er richtig reden können hat. So, ich werde singen, ich werde singen, und hat fest daran geglaubt. Und jetzt ist er auch hier. Und das ist ja auch so ein bisschen so eine amerikanische Philosophie, dass man halt mehr so sagt, go for it, mach es einfach. Und so, um, yeah, it's this American philosophy, go for it, which is like. I've got some friends in America and always when I'm talking about new plans and projects I want to do, they all say, yeah, do it, and Europeans are more like, are you sure about that? Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely, um, the, the, there's definitely a, a vibe about just American culture throughout the history. Just, it's been a place where, you know, through, from the beginning, a place where people go to start over. That's really and, and try something new. And, um... And I think that that, you know, still stands pretty strong in our society. And there's a lot of freedom to, to do things and express yourselves in a lot, in a lot of different ways. So, um, you know, we've just been lucky mm -hmm. to, to, to get those things and, and the dreams accomplished, you know. Mm -hmm. Die amerikanische Philosophie von wegen, ja, man kann alles erreichen, erklärt sich dadurch, dass wir Amerika ist auch... Okay, that's the end of part one of this interview. All right, so... Like I said, part two will be coming soon for the commentary, and I will end my video here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.